Welcome to part 3 of the MongoDB lecture series. In the next couple of videos, we'll be going over some basic and advanced actions that you can perform in the Mongo shell. In this video, we'll be going over how to create documents and how to search documents. Type show DBs once you're in the Mongo shell, and I'll show the databases you have. Type use and database name to either create or use a database if it exists. So now that we're in our database, we can create a collection. To do that, type db.createCollection and the name of the collection you want to create. And now that we have our friends collection, let's insert some documents into it. To do that, use db.friends.insert, and in here you put in a JSON object. So let's make a name property where the value is John and an age property where the value is the number 23. Great. Now, if we do db.friends.find, we'll see the document we've just created. Let's insert a few more documents in here. Let's make a Mary whose age is 25 and a Bob whose age is 24. Now we have all three of our friends. And say we want to narrow down our search. All we have to do is pass in a JSON object into the find function. So say we want to display only the documents that have the name John. And then you would do it like this. Say you want to display or find only the documents where the age is 23. You can do that too. And you can also search for all the documents where the age is greater than 23, for example, using the greater than operator dollar sign GT. So dollar sign GT is an example of an operator that you can use. There's a whole lot of them. And I'm not going to go over all of them. So you can find, if you're curious, all of them on docs.mongodb.com. So that's the basic usage of the find function for narrowing down your search. Say that you also want to narrow down the number of fields that are returned. So for example, I want to hide the name field. To do that, you pass in two arguments into the find function. The first is your search term, and the second defines the fields that you want to display. So I want to just display age. And here you see that underscore ID is still returned. Uh, that's because by default you have to explicitly define for MongoDB to hide it. So you set that to zero. I should also mention that underscore ID is a unique identifier that's automatically inserted into new documents by MongoDB. Say we want to sort our results. Well, we just append a dot sort and we specify that we want to sort in ascending order of age, like that. Or we could use negative one for descending order. Pretty simple. And finally, say that we want to limit the number of results we get back. So if we do an empty find, we get three results back. Whoops. <laughs> but say we only want one result, then we would do something like dot limit of one, and we only get one document back, or dot limit of two. If we do dot limit of four, we get three documents back because the four only specifies the uh, the maximum number of documents we want back. So that's how to both create and search documents in MongoDB. In the next video, we'll be going over how to update and delete documents. See you next time.